Oh yeah. Put bike in there. A big bacon there. Bacon there. The bacon there. Hello everyone and welcome to the Ring of Steel in September 2022. Uh, I've already been bitten on the eye by uh, midges, so I'm going to leave this area pretty soon. As you can see, I'm having my half a pig breakfast. Also got a coffee. So I'm really producing the footage now, aren't I? Uh, so I've got four Munros to do today. Um, Skuravan, Skuravane is the first one. Uh, that's quite a steep, rocky ascent, because today I'm going to be doing it anti-clockwise. Uh, the weather, I checked uh, the Met Office, it's going to be like this. It's not going to be a clear blue day, but it's going to be nice weather. Mm. Right. Now this is what I call a breakfast. If you go to Lidl, you can buy um, a kilo packs of cooking bacon. I've literally just cooked half a kilo <laughs> of bacon. So this is the lower falls of Ben um, of Ben Nevis. Lovely. So I'm going to set off quite quickly because the midges only went away because of the smoke from that. I've left the river uh, at, at the bridge um, there's a quite a big gate and you want to go through that gate up to uh, an information board and then carry on following it's quite boggy to begin with well muddy I should say so uh, be careful not to slip over here before you've even begun. This is going to be my third round of the Ring of Steel. Uh, I did it once back in 2020 and then I did it again at the, the beginning of June this year with a friend of mine and his uh, walking party. I'm at 550 meters, which is halfway up Skuravane. I can see um, to the east, you won't be able to see it now, where sort of over here I've got a lot of, it looks like rain. But I wasn't expecting rain because on the Met Office and Mountain Forecast, it said it was going to be cloudy like this, overcast. 
I might have one or two showers, but I don't know. That's to be expected. You know, we're now into September. Summer's almost at an end. So yeah, about 560 meters now. I just checked, checked uh, outdoor active. And I've been going for an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, you see Ben Nevis uh, lost in the cloud. Got a lovely waterfall coming up it. See, I've, this is where I started, down here. There. So I've come a fair old way. I just checked uh, the Met Office on my phone, and right now it's supposed to be heavy showers. But as you can see, they've got it wrong. So I must have missed whatever rainstorm was coming. Or I might get a bit further up here and then the heavens just open. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? At the moment though, it's, it's gone completely overcast. But it's quite nice. It's, I don't mind walking in this weather. Because the other day I got um, really badly sunburnt. I can sort of see the mountains of uh, Glencoe now. They're all lost in cloud. Right, so I reckon I've got another 45 minutes, roughly, to get to the summit. I'm only gonna have a swig of water at the top and then it's over the Devil's Ridge. I'm only having short five minute breaks just to catch my breath. It's a tough old slog coming up here, but the, the good thing is, as soon as I get to the top, that's two thirds of the ascent out of the way. And it should be just plain sailing, weather permitting. That's one way to get up in the morning. Nearly at the side of the hill. It's a good way. Scudavane, Munro number one. Okay, you can't see sod all really, but I'll just give you a 360. Yeah, you cannot see very much, can you? <laughs> 
Okay, on to the next one, Amburak. I need to get over the Devil's Ridge down here. Here we are, coming on to the Devil's Ridge now, looking south, just over there after the Devil's Ridge is the second Monroe, Ambora. This really is something else, isn't it? Absolutely awesome. I think it actually looks better with all of this cloud. Looks more dramatic, doesn't it? I've put my jumper on because it's a bit chilly in here. Uh, it's gusting 30 miles an hour every now and then. And with a t-shirt that is soaked in sweat, yeah, it's a bit chilly. So. I'm going to keep my jumper on. You can just see over there the second Monroe, Amburach. I'm actually really low on water. Uh, I brought out two litres of water and I've got about 250 millilitres of water. We are at the summit We're on the descent now from Ambora. It's quite a steep um, pull if you're coming the other way. That 3,600 <laughs> feet straight up. I don't mind coming down this part. It's just coming forward a bit. It's quite difficult. I am at the third Monroe of the day, Stob Koryach Akan. Uh, 3,218 feet, summit time 4.15 p.m. So that was five hours and 15 minutes from the lower falls. The weather's cleared up a bit. I'll give you a 360. There you go. 
So I've only got one more Munro to do. I need to lose about 300 feet roughly and then I'm coming up this track. It's quite a rocky track if I remember correctly. Um, I think it's that one there. Or it might be that one. I'll need to check Outdoor Active. Well, there you go, three Munro's done. I've only got one more to do. I've run out of water, so that is a big problem. Um, all I have to do though is that one Munro there, and then if I drop down to Steel Falls or Steel Waterfall, and there's a river there, so I can get water. It's not the end of the world. Right. I'm actually going to have um, five minutes here because I'm a bit naturally doing all of that. <laughs> Down there is uh, Kinlock Leven. Look at that coming in. Hopefully, it's going to miss me but I might get rained on, I don't know. It might miss me if it goes um, west. That looks like a big rainstorm. Almost at the summit of the fourth Munro. I think that is pretty much all of the ascent now. <sighs> Might have about a hundred feet, maybe. careful when you're holding onto rocks because you end up if you grab the wrong one pull the rock down with you here we are and Gurana the fourth and final Munro of the day 3221 feet summit time 5.05 p.m. So that was six hours and five minutes to do all four of the Munros from the lower falls. And it's raining, so I am getting off this mountain pretty quickly. You, I would give you a 360, but there's not much to see at the moment. I think I definitely uh, made the right decision to do it anti-clockwise because I was 3,600 feet up there and I reckon it's definitely raining. It's spitting here but I reckon it's definitely raining properly on uh, Skiravan, the first one I did. Right, that's all of the, that's all of the descent, 5,500, something like that. It's about 2,000 feet less than uh, the car 4,000. Right, I am really dehydrated, even though I've drank about two litres of water today. The wire bridge that I cross has just come into view. It's all the way 
down there. It's quite far away. Is that someone stood in... Yeah, there's two people there. It's cool how I can zoom in on those two people. I wouldn't have seen them from up here. Right. The sun's trying to break through. It's just a, uh, a long rocky path coming down here, so I won't film much of it. It's just like this for a while. Zigzagging, aren't they? Do, do, do. This way, that way. Yep. Ah, I'm so looking forward to a swig of water. This is why I always forget this. I should have an emergency can of Coca Cola. At the bottom, there you go, that's a top tip for you. I always think of it, but I never actually do it. Keep an emergency can of Coca-Cola at the bottom of your rucksack and just forget about it. And then when you're really dehydrated, you'll remember that you have that can of Coca-Cola. <laughs> yeah. always think I'm going to do that and I never bother. I'd pay £10 for a can of Coca-Cola right now. <laughs> Actually, with inflation, that's normal price, isn't it? That is a weird colour. It's like yellow. I'm so desperate that I don't even care. Right, I'm down, but I'm being attacked by these black flies. They're literally all over me. <sighs> they're not midges, they're bigger than midges. But there's one there. <sighs> what are they? Ah. <sighs> Oh, there's one there. Wow. Is there any more on me? Well, they're all over me. Oh, this is horrendous. What the? No, they're still on my shoulder. Oh, it's in my ear. <laughs> got to get out of here. <laughs> this wasn't how I imagined it's ending. Covered in flies. Uh, I just sank in a bog. Stupidly I stuck to the left over there and I walked straight into a bog. Uh, both socks are soaking wet. Uh, it's raining. But on the plus side there is still waterfall, the third highest waterfall in Scotland. It's raining now quite heavily. 
This is not a good ending, I'm afraid. Ah. How are they still on me? <sighs> okay. What I'm going to do is I need to put my waterproofs on and at least if I put the waterproof jacket on that will stop the flies. Okay. I need to uh To be honest, I could just walk over this. My feet are soaked anyway. Shall I just walk over? How deep is it? Oh, sod it. Come on. My feet are soaked anyway. I didn't have wet socks, I do now. Okay. Uh. Right. Let's get under this for a bit. Well, everyone, what a way to end. I was having such a good time until I walked into that hell hole. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. First of all, I got attacked by those black flies, one of which managed to get into my ear. Luckily I stopped it before it went too far into my ear. Uh, then I walked into a bog and I should know that there is a bog there near the waterfall, but I guess, I, I don't know, I just forgot. Uh, yeah. Not a good ending, to be honest. Oh, and then I got bitten again by midges. They always seem to get me on my eyelid. <laughs> they bit me there, they bit me on my eyelid um, in the same spot this morning. They got me again at the end of the, at the end of the day. But yeah, I mean, like I said back there, uh, I would do it anti-clockwise because at least if you um, if you get your socks wet, for example, um, going through those bogs at the start of the day, I mean, you've got to do all of those Monroes in wet, in wet socks, unless you pack uh, a spare pair of socks. So that's actually something I would recommend, to pack a spare pair of socks, just in case you um, go into a bog like I did back there. Uh, what else would I recommend? There are head nets that you can buy that you can buy and I have I have got one. I don't know why I didn't pack it today. I packed it for the Locarba 4000s, but I didn't actually pack it today. So I I'd, I'd recommend buying one of the Highlander head nets. I'm going to end it here. As always everyone, thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Cheers.